Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot to update you on, so I thought I'd just set up the camera and chit chat with you guys for a bit. Today is Thursday, May 7th. I am 37 weeks and five days pregnant today, and I may be having this baby this weekend. So on Tuesday, I went in for my 37 week appointment, which was an ultrasound, and it was always scheduled to be an ultrasound. But since with all of the virus stuff going on, Jacob hasn't been able to go to doctor's appointments with me, but so, so, so grateful for this. My clinic is allowing dads to come to ultrasounds, which is so nice. So since this was supposed to be a scheduled ultrasound anyway, Jacob got to come with me. So we went to the doctor's office and first thing we went into the room to have the ultrasound done. And the tech asked me, she was like, oh, how's he moving and everything? I was like, yeah. He's moving maybe like a little bit less than last week, but like, yeah, he's still moving and stuff. And so then we like get started with the ultrasound and maybe like two minutes in, she was like, okay, one second, I have to go ask a question. And I was like, okay. And she left the room and I looked at Jacob. I was like, this isn't, this means this is not good. And so I was feeling really nervous about it. So she came back into the room and continued on with the ultrasound and she said we're gonna run we're gonna do these couple little tests um for his movement and his breathing i want to make sure like his his lungs are working so i was like okay and because he wasn't moving a lot during the ultrasound either um but thankfully when she came back like the second time he started moving a bit more and so like whatever tests they had to run for him like he did great and he like passed him was fine and we were kind of like okay like what's going on okay so then we went from that room to our, our like the next room over and had the visit with our doctor and our doctor walked in like right away and she was like okay your fluid levels are really low <laughs> and she's like i know you're wanting to go full term like to go to 40 weeks and everything to your due date but i think he's going to be coming sooner than later and so she was really concerned because my amniotic fluid level is low. So she then said that she was going to have the nurse come in and do a non-stress test to monitor contractions and baby's heartbeat. So depending on like how the results were of that would determine other things. And she was kind of just like, she seemed like a little uneasy about it, you know, like she just seemed like it, like it was something serious, like we had to take seriously. So then the nurse wheeled in this like machine and they like put the little monitors like on my belly and um, Again, Jacob got to be there with me for all this which I'm so grateful that he was there And it was supposed to be like a 20 minute test and they just said just stay here and it'll monitor everything So after about like 15 minutes the doctor came in again and she looked at it and she was like, oh Oh, that's great. He's doing great. Oh, that's awesome. He's great so he passed that test great and they like stopped it early because his results were good so he was like moving around enough or his like heartbeat was getting to the levels that it needed to get so i guess the, their concern with having low fluid again i'm not a doctor but this is what i think i understand it to be is that it could decrease his like oxygen supply and also said that my placenta is probably could be like done so basically we were told at that appointment that we need to come back on Friday for another scan, for another ultrasound and another non-stress test. And they would reevaluate to see what my fluid levels are and see how baby's doing. And depending on that, I could need to get induced over the weekend. I felt a lot better once like baby passed all of these tests and everything was good with that. It's just that his like fluid levels are low. But my doctor told me to go home and do absolutely nothing and sit on the couch and drink a ton of water. So that's what I've been up to. I have my tissue box here too, but this is kind of just my little section now of the house. And I've just been sitting on the couch guzzling so much water. It's like 1.30 and this is my fourth refill of my, no, maybe my fifth of my 24 ounce thing of water. So I basically go from the couch to the kitchen to get myself food, to the bathroom, to the kitchen to refill my water. So that's basically all I've been doing the last couple days. Um, that, that also being said, 
to, my appointment was Tuesday afternoon and I work three tens. I work 30 hours a week, three tens. And so therefore Wednesday is my last like work day of the week. And so I like showed up to work on, on call, you know, on Wednesday since we're all working from home. And I was like, so today may be my last day. So it was just kind of crazy to go from, I thought I had two more weeks to now preparing to be like, I think I probably just had my last day of work. So I've been just like sitting, resting, drinking a ton of water over the last few days. And so yesterday was Wednesday and I drank a ton of water and I felt him like moving around a lot more. I felt like he was a lot more active, which is hopefully a good sign. And then today he hasn't been as active, but still active enough. Um, I've definitely been like counting kicks and like doing all that and just trying to be really aware of like all of his movements and things. Um, I also forgot to say, but like at the doctor's office, they also like took my blood pressure, which they do every time anyway, but they like, you know, double check my blood pressure and that was totally fine. And my like urine samples have always come back fine. So, um, I don't think it's like a high blood pressure thing. So it's just that my fluid levels are low. So the doctor said that the water, like drinking a ton of water could help, but it also may not. And so that's why we may need to be induced. If I need to get induced this weekend, it'll be no later than Sunday evening, which Sunday is actually Mother's Day. So I'm like, oh, I could have a Mother's Day baby. Um, I turn 38 weeks on Saturday. So the doctor also was like really wanting to make it to 38 weeks. Um, she would said something about how baby boys take longer for their lungs to develop. So even though like 37 and a half weeks is still good like making it to 38 would be like even better for him so obviously I want him to be healthy and for him to be okay obviously like getting an induction and going into labor like two weeks early was not my plan I actually really wanted to go past my due date because of like the pandemic and everything going on I was just like hopeful that I'd go past my due date which was May 23rd and that I could like write out some of the <laughs> all the stuff going on but unfortunately it looks like that may not be the case and that's okay because again like my biggest priority is that baby boy is going to stay safe so i don't really care if i get in, in i don't really care if i have to have an induction um i know that there are like other risks associated with that and like the potential to have a c-section but again that's going to be way like i'd much rather do that and make sure that baby boy is okay so i don't really care like for myself to get an induction. I just want to do whatever's going to be best for him. So with that being said, the last couple days have been a little crazy as we've been preparing to be like, holy cow, like our son could be here in a few days. And it was really funny because when we came home from that appointment on Tuesday, my doctor said, sit at home, don't do anything. It was funny because Jacob immediately started into like nesting mode and he got up and he cleaned a whole bunch of stuff in the house. He swept, he mopped, he picked up a whole bunch of clutter that I like wanted to have picked up. So, and then he was also like, let's double check the hospital bags, make sure that we know where everything is. So we did all of that. Uh, I mean, he did all of that. And so we're feeling like a bit more prepared. We also just had some family housekeeping, like paperwork kind of stuff to do and get mailed out. So we did that. We also voted because we do mail-in ballots and we received those. So we got a lot taken care of. So we've just been trying to like cross things off the list and knowing that like we could have a baby anytime. So I am feeling pretty prepared in like the fact that we like his nursery's done, like our bags are packed, we're ready to go. There's just a couple little things around the house that just need to be like picked up because I don't want to come home to like a filthy house. But um, other than that, we have grocery pickup that we're going to go do today in like a couple hours and then we're going to be like squared away. So my appointment is tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning and I'm not sure like when we're there if they're going to say you need to go to the hospital right now or if they're going to say come in Sunday night. So I don't know what the, what the timeline is going to look like or if they're like, oh, your levels are up and you're totally good. So keep being pregnant. So that could be another possibility, but I kind of feel like it's going to be this weekend. And honestly, now that I've thought about it more, I feel, I feel good about it. And while like an induction isn't like, probably isn't someone's like first plan, like that's not your plan to be induced. There's something that seems a little calming for like the planner in me to know like, Oh, I'm gonna go into the hospital and like and also I can like leave my house with things being ready and just like walk into the hospital and like know what's like what's gonna happen rather than it just like 
happening spontaneously. So I'm just trying to look on the bright side that 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 could be an okay thing. Again, I'm not against getting induced or anything. It, it'll be fine. Any way that you have a baby, whether you go no medication, all natural, you have an induction, you have a C-section, an epidural, whatever that may be, the way that you have a baby is amazing. And the way that it happens doesn't matter. It's just so funny because <laughs> my entire third trimester just nothing has obviously gone to plan with spending my entire third trimester in quarantine um without my family having everything canceled like this wasn't how i planned it and now to be like oh he's he could be early is just like realizing i really don't have control over anything and and honestly like i never cried or like got upset on tuesday when they like told me all of this at the doctor's office because I feel like I've just had to hold all my plans so loosely that at this point I'm just like, whatever happens, happens. So I am just really excited though to know that like we could be closer to meeting our son. Like that's super exciting and like really looking forward to that. So um, I'm definitely, will keep you guys posted on everything that's happening and we'll see how tomorrow morning goes. I'm very like anxious to hear. I don't know if I'll like get any sleep tonight cause I'm just so anxious to know if I'm gonna have a baby this weekend over the next couple days my my big goal in all of this like i i just want my baby to be safe and healthy so i'm going to do whatever i need to do to make that happen also just as a reminder if you want to stay updated in real time of things that are happening with baby um definitely follow me on instagram and i'll be posting like real time updates there if i have already had the baby or i'm in labor by the time that this video goes up it's a little bit later now and we have had dinner and we also got a lot of things done around the house. We were finishing laundry, we did the dishes, I prepped some um, breakfast sandwiches that we're going to have once baby's here and just picked up a couple of random things. So <clears throat> I don't know, I feel like we're getting ready, places like ready for us to bring a baby home, <clears throat> which is exciting and scary all at the same time. Jacob, are you excited? So excited. Are you scared? Yeah. <laughs> A little nervous? Yeah, nervous. Don't when do you, saying. okay, what's your guess? When do you think he's going to come? I genuinely don't know. Do yeah. you think I'm going to have to get induced this weekend? Probably. Yeah. So then maybe what, like Monday or Tuesday? I I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a guess. Just a fun guess. Tuesday. Tuesday, May 12th? Mm -hmm. You think he'll be here May 12th? It's my dad's birthday. Okay. <laughs> my guess is I'm gonna have to get induced this weekend and my guess is that we'd go in Saturday night and I could have the baby on Sunday still going for a Mother's Day baby Jacob's painting my toes getting my pre-delivery pedicure here while we're also watching the office it's almost like I never left, but I did. It's now the next day. It is Friday, May 8th, and I have my doctor's appointment in an hour, so we need to leave in like a half hour. Um, I'm just sitting here eating some cereal and then have a few last things that I wanna like pack up. I don't think that they would send me straight to the hospital today, but I guess that could be a possibility, so I just wanna have like, our hospital bags in the car just in case that ends up happening so just a couple little things to get organized this morning and then we'll be on our way to the doctor to see what she says about when i'm going to be having this baby i feel like it's going to be sooner than later though i don't know if i'll go in tonight or saturday night but i definitely feel like it'll be this weekend we just pulled up to the doctor's office so we're about to go in find out if we're having this baby today maybe we have all of our like hospital bag stuff back here, so we're ready to go if we need to be, but we're hoping that we could at least like go home for a little bit first. So we also got our masks. Let's do it. Well, I know I'm now conveniently in the same spot, but that's just, I think that this is where I'm going to be for a while. So I wanted to give you a quick little update about what the um, doctor said at today's appointment. So we went in, had our ultrasound done, and my fluid level actually went up a little bit. I think that it, before it was at like five centimeters, now it's at six and a half, which is still low, but it it got better. So they also ran tests for baby boy to make sure he was doing okay, and he 
passed with flying colors, so he's doing great, which is the part that really matters. So we are not planning to have an induction this weekend. <laughs> I totally thought that we were going to be induced this weekend, but apparently we're not. So the plan now is I have another doctor's appointment scheduled for Tuesday, and I'll have another ultrasound and do the same tests and see what my levels are then as well. So they're just really closely monitoring me for this and just kind of it's all up in the air as to like baby boy will come when he wants as long as like my fluid is still like where it should be right now. So the doctor also checked me and I'm now dilated to two centimeters which last week I was one centimeter and he's also super super low very low and even the ultrasound tech was like I can't really see his head because he's so low. So I think that he like they were kind of preparing me that even if I don't get induced this weekend like he still could come soon and the doctor even did a membrane sweep which a cervical check is like bad enough but also a membrane sweep that hurt so freaking bad so she said that that could do it in like 48 hours I could go into labor naturally but it also was like early enough that it could not do it it may not do anything so basically I think that the status is just that he could come at any time. I really don't think I'm going to make it another week. But he could come at any time and they'll let him stay in and keep him for as long as we can as long as like he's doing well. Um, but also the level that I'm at isn't sustainable for much longer. So that's why I think she was like, my body's already starting to progress. But she did like the membrane sweep to try and like maybe get something else going. So that being said, no induction this weekend. I very well though could still have a baby this weekend depending on how the membrane sweep worked and how my body is progressing. But I am really relieved to hear that like he's head down really low and I'm dilating because that means that like my body's getting ready, he's getting ready. So I hope that if I do have to go in for an induction next week, that um, I'd already be like progressing on my own. So that would just be an extra like help to get things moving. So we will see what it all entails. I came home and immediately showered. That's been my schedule lately. We wear our masks into the appointment and come home and shower. And so I was told to now still just sit on the couch, drink a lot of water. And yeah, so I turn 38 weeks tomorrow. I think that this will just serve as my 38 week update more vlog style because it was a very eventful week but I'm grateful that baby boy is still healthy and he's he's doing well so I'm just excited for him to be here and it also feels good our house is like spotless it's all picked up and we are like we're ready so really any moment it could happen which is exciting i know that i was really hoping to go past 40 weeks <laughs> to get out of this pandemic a little bit but that's okay it just means we get to see him a little bit sooner so don't forget to follow me on instagram if you're not following me there because i'll be posting like real-time updates and you'll definitely see that he's born from there first before YouTube so definitely stay tuned if you want to know when he's going to be born and also don't forget to subscribe as I'm going to be like sharing a labor and delivery vlog here soon as well like when things are for real so I will look forward to seeing you guys in that next video to leave. already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we